Hi, in this short video, we will understand how a stud setter can be used to tighten and remove studs from an engine entablature. As shown in the cross section view, the base part of the stud setter contains threads that are matched with the stud to be removed. The threads on the top are of left hand type into which a matching bolt with left hand thread is inserted. This setup enables us to both tighten and remove the studs using the stud setter. In this image, let's consider this stud needs to be removed from the entablature. We can thread the tool on the stud and apply torque counterclockwise on the bolt. Since this is a left handed bolt, it would cause the bolt to tighten and with enough torque, the stud can be loosened. But the problem here is that in this process, the base of the stud setter may get tightened against the stud and would be difficult to remove the stud setter itself from the stud. So instead, we can tighten the base completely onto the stud and loosen it by a small amount. This would create some gap between the base of the stud setter and the stud. Now, the stud setter can be tightened against the stud using two spanners as illustrated above and the stud can be easily removed by turning the bolt in counterclockwise direction. Now, let's discuss the process of tightening a stud. Assuming the stud is hand tightened and needs to be secured to the final torque, we'll fit the stud setter on the stud as demonstrated earlier. After securing the stud setter with two spanners, it's essential to align the hexagonal faces of the base and the bolt. Adjustments can be made by turning the stud setter backward and tightening again if the alignment is not perfect. Once aligned, a socket can be fitted holding both the base and the bolt together and then tightened to the final torque using a torque wrench. To remove the stud setter from the stud, we can simply turn the bolt in a clockwise direction which will loosen the tool from the stud. That wraps up our explanation of how to use a stud setter for tightening and removing studs. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to share them below.